Hey everybody, it's Chucka Conroy, not here to welcome you back to any video game, even though you see video game footage on the screen. As you can see by the video title, uh, yesterday was my fifth anniversary of Let's Playing. Yes, yesterday. I didn't get it up on the day of because uh, I wanted to get Pokemon Coliseum up, the, up that day because I had the video ready to go and I felt like I kind of had waited a bit too long to put it up in the first place. So yeah, I'm posting this today instead. So, I just wanted to say thank you. That's really all I can say on this. It's just that five years ago when I started my Earthbound Let's Play, I didn't have all that much intention of making more videos beyond that. I wasn't even sure if I necessarily enjoy making videos. Uh, I don't think it was until I got to Winters in that series when I mentioned the fact that I wanted to make more Let's Plays and I was considering maybe Pokemon Crystal was one of them, which did end up actually happening one day. Um, even though I don't really care much for my early videos and I think they suck pretty bad just because of how awkward and how afraid I was to be myself and all that. It's just that you know, I guess you had to start somewhere, and I always like to look back on that on, you know, the day of, or in this case, you know, the day after uh, the anniversary of, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, all I can really say is I didn't see any of this coming. I did not see all the friendships that I'd make from YouTube. I didn't see how many of you that I'd meet at, get to meet at conventions like this one we were at past week. I didn't at uh, PAX East in the past week. That's tough to say. Um, I didn't see any of that really coming, you know. Uh, honestly, I'll say this right now. Let's Playing takes a lot more work than a lot of people think. It does. A lot of people think that it's just playing a game for 10 minutes a day and then uploading it. There's a lot more than that. Even just for, like, basic audio syncing, getting a system down for that when you don't have knowledge of video in the first place can be tough. Um, getting a setup that looks and sounds good can be tough. I mean, heck, I still sometimes have trouble with audio, even to this day. Um... God, like, what else? Uh, an, an example of, like, how ambitious things can be without realizing it is um, in Okamiden, for example, that came out this past year. Every time that I would ever draw something, the action on the DS would shift to the lower screen. And I would always have to swap the two screens places on screen so that you wouldn't have to look away from the same area of the screen that you're already watching. And I feel like that's necessary, though, because shifting your eyes over in the setup that I had every time that I would draw something would get very jarring and very disorienting to have to do that so often. And there were videos in that series where I had to shift the screens literal hundreds of times. And no, it wasn't something that I could make automatic either. The frame rate of the game was different, and I had to do it just on the right frame for it to look seamless. So it was not an easy task, and it wasn't something that I could just do a preset for. I had to do that manually every time, and there were times where I did that hundreds of times in one video. So that's just kind of an example of, you know, how much work it takes that you don't see on the surface. Um, and really, all I could say is, even though it is a lot of work and it is kind of overwhelming when you first start it, I honestly would recommend that anyone try this. You know, just make a Let's Play video. Do something, you know, see if you enjoy it. Because I sure as heck didn't think that I'd enjoy making videos. I thought it would be tough and, like, impossible to do and all this other stuff. And I ended up liking it, and I really just can't thank the people that you know, encourage me to get started on making videos enough, you know? I wouldn't have met so many people and gone so many places if it wasn't for that, but I don't really have anything else to say on the matter. I feel like I've covered just about everything that I want to say, though, so how about you say we move on to what I'm sure many of you were asking about, or, well, that's, no, nah, we wouldn't really say many of you asking about it, though, but I, I don't know. Uh, some of you have been asking me about this, though, so I think I'll, you know, oblige to answer right here. What am I working on right now, and what am I doing next? I'm not going to do a full-on reveal of what it is I am actually doing next, but I just want to say that the reason why I've been so tight-lipped about everything is just because I've been super, super busy, first with the con uh, the panel that was being planned out that we did at PAX East, the convention itself, the fact that Pokemon Coliseum has a stupidly tedious aftergame. Like, I'm, it's really, really tough to record. Like, I've said it many times, like, please excuse the fact that it's taking a while because of just the nature of its after game being so tedious. But it just all those things added together have made it tough to work on whatever it is I'm doing next, and what I have coming up next is actually something pretty ambitious. Um, I have a video coming out in this next series that is going to have possibly 500 annotations. Um, I was thinking that it was going to have about 200, and then I, and, um, I found out that YouTube actually limits you to 300 annotations per video. So I'm going to have to split it into two parts um, just to do what I want to do. And yes, every annotation does something. They're not just text annotations. They all do something relevant to the video. So I'm working on a video that, in you know, two parts, could have possibly 500 annotations. 
Uh, that's taking a while. To, uh, I've spent a lot of time planning this out, and I'm in the process of making the video right now, but it's just going to take a little while to get done. I hope that in a week, two weeks, I should have it ready. Um, but I, I suppose if you really, really want to get um, the, some details about it, I can I can say this. I'm not working on one new Let's Play coming out in the next couple of weeks. I'm working on two. So whatever I have coming out next will be accompanied by another game. So... Yeah, that's really all I can say about that, but that's mainly what I'm working on. Until then, like I did say, it will be a few weeks until those are ready. I do have some things to hold you over. I have, obviously, the Mount Battle video that's coming out soon. I'm still working on that. I've recorded the first quarter or so of it. I mean, you're seeing footage of it on screen right now. Uh, what I plan on doing for that is doing post-commentary over like the last few battles um, of Mount Battle and just talking about things that I'd like to talk about in Coliseum that I've yet to talk about. Um giving the reward, you know, giving screen time to the reward you get for completing Mount Battle with all the Shadow Pokemon purified, all that good stuff. Aside from that, I have a revisit to Pikmin 2 that is going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, I've recorded two videos of the multiplayer modes of Pikmin 2 with one Steven Plays. Uh, this is another example of me having guest commentators to show off multiplayer features that I've never shown off before. And we play through the co-op mode and the versus mode together. And, yeah, you'll be seeing that on the channel probably after the Mount Battle video. Probably, hopefully, not too long. Um, and aside from that, of course, there is the Runaway Guys, the collab channel that I run with Nintendo Capri Sun and Proton John. And currently, Josh Jepsen is a guest commentator. We're currently Let's Playing New Super Mario Bros. U, which is updated three days a week, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I will warn you that if you try to go watch like the most recent video, I'm kind of a jerk to the other ones in it. I don't know what I was like feeling that day. Plus, in the next video, I've, I've actually edited it. I'm also kind of a jerk to my fellow commentators. But then again... What's the fun in New Super Mario Brothers games if you can't be jerks to the other players? I mean, they give you the ability to pick up and throw people and ground pound people for a reason, but... Yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. it it's it's a fun time. I loved recording it. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. So yeah, um, once again, thank you for everything. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for having any interest in them, really. Um, I invite anyone to try Let's Playing at least once to see if they enjoy it. You know? Um, I have Mount Battle coming out, I have a Revisit to Pikmin 2 coming out, and then I have two new Let's Plays that will be coming out when I get to launching that. And just know that, yeah, I'm working on what, I'm working hard on what is coming out next. But yeah, in that case, I don't have anything else to say, so see you guys then. And here's hoping to more anniversaries beyond this one, because I still have loads of ideas, and I would still love to be making videos for you guys for years to come. See ya.